Guys, for less than this 10 euros, you can get both of these, two of my favorite great value wines from France. Stay tuned, that's where we're going next. Los Gates. Hey guys, Baron Belts, the wine missionary. I'm so excited about today for a couple of different reasons. One and two, that's a couple. These guys are super inexpensive, kind of generic French red wines, but they each have a tremendous amount of uniqueness to them. Not only that, but I love their flavor profiles because they're so different than one another, but this is the thing. That one's four euros, this one's five euros. Like I've said, I'm always looking for great values. Not only that, but both of these wines are like tremendously available too. Like you'll find these in most of your grocery stores, not only here in Germany where I am, but also in France, that I know for sure, possibly in some of the other European uh, countries. But so guys, I've already reviewed this wine. So click above and then you'll see that I've already done a review on this wine, um, which is the Reserve de Grazias. This is from an area called Colbier. And this is primarily a blend of Carignan and Grenache. So that's very popular in this area, which is just to the south of France. It's just a little bit north of Marseille off the coast, so about an hour north. Um, but I've reviewed this before, so check that out. But what I'm going to do is talk about the flavor profile, the differences between these two wines. Not that one necessarily is better than the other. What I really wanna talk about is there are just major differences in the grapes that are used in these two wines, both from France. Like I mentioned, they're both red blends, um, but I'll get into more of that when I taste it. Now, the one that I really want to focus on today is this wine that has a really fancy name to it. So it's called Reserve du Président Corsaire. That's really fancy. It's a five euro name. This wine is from the island of Corsica, which is just north of the island of, our, of Sardinia. Sardinia belonging to Italy, Corsica belonging to France. And so what you have here is a wine that is completely different than this one. Number one, it has a grape that they still haven't figured out the origins of this grape. But this grape, as far as they can tell, is actually native to the island of Corsica. So get ready for another five euro French word. This is Noyuchio. Noyuchio. This is a red grape that adds very little in the way of color, but it actually helps to boost alcohol. So a very interesting grape that only comes from this area, but here also they're blending in Grenache and Syrah. Now Grenache and Syrah are very popular in an area that's, that's kind of in the south of France as well, in the area of Rhone. Grenache and Syrah are very popular there. But what you heard me say is, there is some Grenache in this wine. There's also Grenache in this wine. Now guys, that's a red grape. I wanna make that clear. But Grenache also tends to have a little bit lighter red color, also has great clarity. So with Grenache, you can typically see like straight through the wine. Um, but what you're going to see is the Carignan in this wine makes it a completely different color. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with this wine first because I've had it before. As you guys well know, if you've watched some of my other videos, um, click above and then you can watch a series of videos that I did actually where I'm using different preservation methods on this wine. For 15 days, I tried all these different methods to see how this wine would hold up. Um, praise God, this is a little bit fresher bottle, so this is not from the 15 day trial, but it is the exact same wine. So. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this and do my typical uh, kind of little evaluation there. So like I said, this is a blend of Carignan, which is also a red grape, primarily from the south of France, and then Grenache. 
The difference with Carignan is it has amazing color, a rich red color, whereas Grenache has this much lighter, really bright and really clear color. So when you blend the two together, this is where you get this kind of rich red color, almost blood red towards the center. So I love the nose on this wine. It, um, it reminds me of like black cherry, blackberry. That's really what I get from this wine. Yeah, so let's taste it. Guys, I'm telling you, every time I taste this wine, and then I'm reminded that it's four euros. Seriously, I just go, this wine is way beyond four euros. Um, so it's still finishing in my mouth. There's a freshness to it that I love. This is that acidity, a little bit of acidity that makes your mouth water. It really makes you like want some food or another sip of the wine. I love how that blackberry note just, just continues to hum along as you taste it. Um, and then the finish, it's just a nice polished finish that just goes and goes and goes and it just goes away eventually. But the reason I mention that is because sometimes with inexpensive wines, the finish is off. It becomes bitter or odd. Guys, that's not your palate, that's the wine. And that's really one of those things where you can tell if wines are well made or not. So anyway, I've talked about this wine a lot is because I'm super impressed by the fact that it's four euros and I think it really delivers. So the next wine, like I mentioned, this coming from the island of Corsica, which is part of France. And the grapes are completely different here. So even though these both share some Grenache in the blend, this is primarily that Noi Lucio. Yeah, man, so right off the bat, the nose, the aromatics are completely different. Not only that, I didn't mention the color. The color of this wine is much lighter. So check out the picture here. You'll see how much lighter this one is versus the one from Colbier, right? Part of that reason is because this guy has Carignan in it. This one has Syrah, which Syrah tends to add quite a bit of color as well but you'll see the difference in the color uh, in that comparison there in the photo. So here, let's get a real good. Yeah, so totally different on the aromatics. This one is coming much more at like a, a berry characteristic. So here I said blackberry. Here I would really go more like uh, raspberry. If you've had loganberry before, there's another five euro word for the day, loganberry, check it out. Um, also love that there's a, there's kind of a, um, uh, kind of a candied character to this wine as well. So, um, it kind of reminds me of, uh, I'm trying to think of what that candy is called. So the, the, um, uh, the, the, the cherry sour balls. You guys know what I'm talking about? So the little balls and it's that sour cherry and they're real chewy and the outside is a little bit crispy. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So the smell reminds me of that a little bit as well. So lots of mixed fresh berries, but also that little element of that kind of sour cherry, sweet sour cherry, if that makes sense. Hmm. For five euros. Okay, once again, guys, I'm telling you. Now, I need to mention this while this wine finishes and I'm kind of getting those notes together. When this wine goes on sale, it, it actually many times costs four euros. So that would make it the same price, right? So five euros normal price, but four euros when it goes on sale. So I love the way that this wine feels on the palate. This wine feels a little bit richer a little bit thicker, a little bit darker in flavor profile, 
Whereas the, the one from Corsica, it's brighter. It has a, um, just a much lighter mouthfeel to it. Uh, but delicious, they're both delicious wines for a great price. This one, I love how that, um, that element of that, that sour cherry ball, again, um, there's just a little bit of that in the background because there's just a taste of sweetness that's just in the very background, but lots of that fresh berry, mixed berries, like raspberry, maybe even a little bit of, of uh, uh, blackberry as well but it's just got this real potpourri of different sorts of berries, fresh berries, like you put some yogurt in there and eat it for breakfast like I do every morning. But anyway, um, love that about this wine. So uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm always trying to find these great value wines. Um, these are two that are readily available. Uh, I'll put some links below where you can figure out like different places to buy it potentially. But uh, guys, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, will you please give it a thumbs up? Um, lots more videos to check out, how to open a bottle of wine, how to taste wine, et cetera, et cetera. Some of those links will be below. Um, but uh, please subscribe if you dig it. And uh, until next time, I'll say cheers.